good morning students today i am going to discuss with you fractions and decimals concept 2 concept 1.2 okay in that i am going to discuss this descriptive questions ncert okay so in this descriptive questions ncert so first bit we have solve the problems so solve the problems we have the given four questions okay i am going to solve them see you so 7 by 10 plus 2 by 5 plus 3 by 2 so here different denominators we have if there is different denominators we cannot add directly so we need to make equal denominators so we how we are going to make equal by finding the lcm lcm of lcm that is 10 comma 5 comma 2 lcm so 2 fives five as it is two ones next five table five ones five ones one as it is So LCM is two into five. So two into five equal to ten. LCM is how much? Ten. Here the denominator already we have ten. So seven by ten plus here to get ten into two into two. So it becomes four by ten plus here to get ten into five into five. So fifteen by ten. So now we have here same denominator. So if there is same denominator, we can add the numerators. Yes. So seven plus Four plus fifteen by ten. So seven plus four, how much? Eleven. Eleven plus fifteen, twenty-six. Twenty-six by ten. Okay. So twenty-six by ten we have. So this is there any cancellation is possible? Yes. So two thirteen zero two five zero, which is equal to thirteen by five. Or if you want to write in the mixed fraction, you can write two three by five. So any one you can write. Both are correct ones. Next question. Eight one by two plus three five by eight. So when we are adding is there in the when we are adding in the fraction in that any one number is in the mixed fraction. So we can convert them into the improper. So eight one by two we can write eight to the sixteen sixteen plus one seventeen seventeen by two plus eight three is the twenty four twenty four plus five twenty nine by eight. So here different denominators. We need to find the LCM. LCM of Two comma eight is eight only. Eight LCM of two comma eight is eight. So you have to get eight into four into four. Seventeen four is a sixty-eight. Sixty-eight by eight plus already we have eight. So twenty-nine by eight. So this we can add sixty-eight plus twenty-nine by eight, which is equal to eight plus nine seventeen one ninety-seven by eight. Or else, if you want to write in the mixed fraction, you can write eight ones are eight ones are okay. Twelve one by eight is the mixed fraction. Twelve one by eight ninety six two eight twelve eight is the ninety six ninety six plus one ninety eight by ninety seven by eight okay. So now next question: nine by eleven minus four by fifteen. So here also different denominators. So LCM equal to eleven into fifteen, which is equal to one sixty five. Okay. So to get one sixty five into fifteen into fifteen. So nine fifteen is a one thirty five by one sixty five minus into eleven into eleven. So forty four by one sixty five. So if you subtract, so five minus one thirty five. Minus forty four by one sixty five. This is equal to five minus four one thirteen minus four nine. So ninety one by one sixty five. Okay. Next. So you have nothing in the denominator. Four plus seven by eight minus three by five. You have nothing in the denominator. You can write one. So LCM of LCM of one comma eight comma five equal to forty. To get forty into forty into forty. So it becomes one sixty by forty plus two into five into five. So seven five is a thirty five. Thirty five by forty minus three by five. Three by five two into eight into eight. So twenty four by forty. So now so we can subtract and numerate. Subtract and add. So one sixty plus thirty five minus twenty four by forty. So one sixty plus thirty five. One ninety five minus twenty four by forty. Yes. So one ninety five minus twenty four. So that is five minus four one 
19 minus 2, 17. Okay. So, 171 by 40. So, if you want to write in the mixed fraction, so 4, 11 by 40. Okay. So, this is the first question. Okay. Next question. So, now I am going to discuss with you second question. So, in that, we have 6 Romans. In the first Roman, we have so 2 by 5 plus 5 by 1, 4. 5, 1 by 4. So, here... We, we, here one fraction is in the mixture fraction. We need to convert them, convert it is into the improper. So this it becomes 2 by 5 plus 5 1 by 4. That is 21 by 4. So now here different denominators again. So LCM we need to find. LCM of 5 comma 4 equal to how much? 5 4 is 20. Yes. So into 4 into 4. So 2 into 4, 8. 5 into 4, 20. 8 by 20. So into 5 into 5. So 105 by 20. So it becomes 8 plus 105 by 20. So which is equal to 113 by 20. If you write, if you want to write in the mixture fraction, so we can write that is or else 5 13 by 20. We can write 5 13 by 20. Second question. 3 4 by 7. So in the mixture fraction we have write in the improper fraction. 7 3 is a 21, 21 plus 4, so 25 by 7 plus 3 by 5. Here also again we have different denominators. LCM of 7 comma 5 equal to how much? 35. 7 5 is a 35. Into 5 into 5. It becomes 125 by 35 plus into 7 into 7. 21 by 35. Okay. So 125 plus 21 by 35. 125 plus 21. That is becomes 146 by 35. 146 by 35. If you want to write this is in a mixture fraction. 4, 6 by 35. 4, 6 by 35. Next question. So, 3 by 2 plus 5, 1 by 3. Here, 3 by 2 plus, write in the improper. 5, 3, 5, 3 is a 15. 15 plus 1, 16 by 3. So, LCM, different denominators we have. LCM of 2 comma 3 equal to 6. Yes, 2, 3 is a 6. So, into 3 into 3. So, it becomes 9 by 6 plus into 2 into 2. So, 32 by 6. So, it becomes 9 plus 32 by 6 which is equal to 41 by 6. So, if you want to write this in the mixture fraction. So, 6, 5 by 6. This is the mixture answer. So, you can write R, this or this. Okay. Next. So, fourth question. 7 by 3 divided by 2. So, here nothing in the denominator. You can write 1. 7 by 3 when you are dividing a two fractions we should do reciprocal for the divisor fraction. Reciprocal of 2 by 1 is 1 by 2. 2 by 1 is 1 by 2. So now we need to multiply. Check whether there any cancellation is possible. 2 table 7 won't go. 7, 3 table 7 also. It won't cancel. So you can multiply numerator into numerator. Denominator into denominator. 7 1 is 7. 3 is 7. 3 2 is 6. So 7 by 6. Or in the, if you want to write in the mixed fraction. 1 1 by 6. Okay like. So here. Yeah. 12 divided by 3 by 4. Nothing in the denominator is 1. So here what is the divisor fraction? 3 by 4. This is the dividend fraction. This is the divisor fraction. When we are dividing two fractions, we should do reciprocal for the divisor fraction. So here 12 by 1 into 4 by 3. So is there any cancellation? Yes. 3 1 is a 3 4 is a, Which is equal to 4 4 is a 16 by 1. 16 by 1 equal to 6, 16 itself. Next, sixth question we have. So 3 1 by 5 divided by 1, 2 by 3. So 3, 1 by 5, we can write as 5, 3 is a 15, 15 plus 1, 16 by 5, divided by 3, 1 is a 3, 3 plus 2, 5, 5 by 3. So now we are dividing two fractions, yes? So when you are dividing two fractions, we should do reciprocal for the divisor fraction. That it becomes 16 by 5 into 3 by 5, which is equal to, is there any cancellation? No. 16, 3 is a 48, 48 by 25. Okay. So this, if you want to write in the mixture fraction, you can write 123 by 25. 123 by 25. 
okay so now i am going to discuss with you third question third question is which of the following is greater they ask which of the following is greater they are asking to us so first question in that 2 by 7 of 3 by 4 is greater or 3 by 5 of 5 by 8 is greater they are asking so first we need to find what is the value of 2 by 7 of 3 by 4 so half means we know multiplication yes so 2 by 7 into 3 by 4 by substitute by putting the multiplication the operation is not not completed we need to check whether the, whether there is any cancellation is or not so here 2 ones are 2 twos are so is there any cancellation yes so 1 into 3 3 3 by 14 next 3 by 5 of this number so 3 by 5 of half means multiplication 5 by 8 so 5 5 cancel so 3 ones are 3 1 1, one eight are 8 so 3 by 8 so here we have these two fractions having the same numerator if the fractions having same numerator in the denominator which is smaller that becomes greatest yes so here 3 by 14 is the smaller so 3 by 14 is less than 3 by 8 what is the greater here 3 by so 3 by 5 of 5 by 8 is the greatest fraction okay next question so here yeah, 1 by 2 of 6 by 7 is greater or 2 by 3 of 3 by 7 is greater so here we, we need to find here first what is the value of 1 by 2 of 6 by 7 so 1 by 2 of means into 6 by 7 check is there any cancellation yes 2 ones are 2 threes are so which is equal to 3 by 7 next year 2 by 3 of 3 by 7 of means we know that multiplication so e by 7 so is there any cancellation 3 3 cancel it becomes 2 by 7 here we have same denominator if the in the if, if the two fractions are having the same denom denominator in the numerator which is greater that becomes greatest fraction so 3 by 7 is the greatest so 1 by 2 of 6 by 7 is greater than 2 by 3 of 3 by 7 okay next stop this. now i am going to discuss with you fourth question so fourth question they given to us lipika reads a book for one three by four hours every day she reads the all the entire book in six days how many hours in all were required by her to read the book okay so here in the question what they are asking to us listen in the question what they given to us what we need to find we need to understand okay so lipika that person is reads a book for every day one three by four hours okay she completed that book okay in six days okay if she read for one day one three by four hours in six days how many hours the book how many hours she can read in six days they are asking okay so that is we need to write so the time taken to read time taken to read read the book read the book in in a day in one day you can say in one day by Lipika equal to so in Lipika how many hours you will read in one day one three by four hours okay so then the total time the total total time taken to read read the book book in six days by lipika equal to okay in six days so in one day she will read one three by four hours in six days how many hours she will read six into one three by four hours that's it six into one three by four hours so that is nothing but a so here six into 1 3 by 4 we can write what 4 ones are 4 4 plus 3 7 by 4 so is there any cancellation 6 we can write a 6 by 1 so check whether there any cancels yes 2 2 is a 2 3 is a so 3 into 7 21 21 by 2 so 21 by 2 in the mixed fraction 10 1 by 2 so that is 10 1 by 2 hours 10 and half hours okay so Lipika reads the total book in how many hours 10 10 and half hours okay so therefore lipika completes 
Lipika completes the book. Completes the book. Lipika reads reads the book in six days equal to ten one by two hours. So how many hours she can finish? Ten one by two hours. Okay. So this is the question. Next, next question. Now I am going to discuss with you fifth question. Fifth question they given to us. Vidya and Pratap went for a picnic. Their mother gave them a water bottle that contained five liters of water. Vidya consumed two fifth of the water, and Pratap consumed the remaining. So first question we have in that how much water did Vidya drink? Second question, what fraction of the total quantity of the water did Pratap drink? Okay, so the total quantity of the water bottle is how much? Five liters. Yes, total quantity of the total quantity of the water bottle equal to water bottle equal to five liters. Okay, so in this five liters, okay. Vidya drank how much pot? Two fifth of the five liters. Okay, the liters, the amount of water, the amount of water drank by drank by Vidya equal to that is two by five of five liters. Yes, so two by five of five liters. Okay, she drank. So that means two by five into five liters. So five five cancel. That is two liters. So therefore, first question answer is how much? Okay, so two liters. Five of five liters. That is nothing but a two liters. Therefore, two liters of water was drank by drank by Vidya. Okay, so two two liters of water was drunk by Vidya. Next second question, how much part of that? So here, in this five liters, Vidya drank how many liters? Two liters. So remaining water how many we have? Remaining water equal to remaining water equal to five liters minus two liters. Five liters minus two liters, three liters. So the fraction of water water drank by drank by pratap equal to okay so remaining water how many liters 3 liters 3 liters drank by pratap okay how you are going to write so 3 liters by 5 liters so liter liter cancel that is 3 by 5 so 3 by 5 fraction part of the total water bottle pratap was drank Okay, it drank three by fifth, three fifth of the water bottle. Okay, so 